morning guys i'm gonna make this very very quick anyway as i was saying before about that uh, derivatives now a lot of people are not familiar with derivatives it's not something you were taught in school uh people who are normally familiar with derivatives are normally people who do a lot of research on financial market and have a good grasp of what's really going on especially when it comes to banks and the activities that they're actually doing i don't want to get too much into it because sometimes it's like it's very it's not that easy to understand because it took me a good two years to fully understand how it worked a great friend of mine actually helped me out um by digging and digging and digging and then i finally figured it out and now i know exactly what's going on anyway guys i did promise that i was going to share some information on how to truly secure your money now keep in mind whenever you're using the banks the money is never a hundred percent secure this is my disclaimer Whenever you're using the bank, the money is never completely secure. But the most security you could have for your money, I'm going to give it to you. First of all, there's nothing wrong with using the major banks. It's okay. You don't want to be too much exposed to them. You don't have a lot of money in the major bank. For example, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citibank, uh, Chase, those type of banks. Money you pay your bills with, you want to keep in those major banks. The ones that you're paying your constant payment bills with the money that you're putting away for a long day like savings you want to go to a credit union even better you want to get really dressed they go to a local community bank and one of the first question you want to ask the bank manager you want to go up to the bank manager and ask them this by the way this is where it get really interesting you want to ask them what is your exposure to derivatives you're probably wondering why if they don't have any exposure to derivatives, give them all your money. Keep in mind, there's nothing wrong with having a major bank um, account to pay your bills. But if you find a bank, credit unions are not normally exposed to derivatives, especially the local community bank. That is the best place you can put your money. Okay? I did promise I was going to teach you guys how to securitize your money, truly securitize your money. Folks, all you got to do, I repeat, you go to a credit union bank. If you don't want to lose your money, take your savings to a credit union bank and open up an account. One of the major questions you want to ask them, what is your exposure to deriv derivatives? You want to ask the bank manager this question. Even better, as I said before, a local community bank. They really have z they have zero, com uh, zero derivatives on their books. It's very rare. And credit union also. They don't really get messed up, get tied up in these things. It's normally the big banks. Okay? So this is where you need to go with your money, basically. Either a credit union or a local community bank. As I said before, having a major bank account, one bank account, bank account with a major bank, there's nothing wrong with it. I have one with Bank of America. This is the account that I used to buy my stuff with online and pay my bills. Okay? That's what I use it for. All right? Because I know the exposure that they have to derivatives. That bank can collapse whenever. So I'm familiar with that. But I still have an account with a major bank. I'm just giving you guys examples to make you guys, your life a whole lot easier. Let's get into the heart of everything, guys. They're going to take everything away. I'm sorry. People, I've been reading these comments that I've been getting online. To see the level of ignorance the society have gotten. It's insane. And it's by intention. The reason why people are lashing out, saying what they're saying, is because they have no clue what's going on. Just to be nice with it, they are intellectually challenged. Layman's term, they're stupid. Very stupid. They're unaware of what's really going on and of what's happening. The banks are going to take your house. It doesn't matter. How great you're paying your bills if you never miss a mortgage pay payment. It's just a matter of time, folks. The banks are collapsing. Okay? And we have to deal with this. There's a derivative market crash that's coming. It is coming. And there's no one that can stop it. And when that happens, holy smokes. It's going to go up in flames. The WEF said it best, the World Economic Forum. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. And man, they're right. 
a lot of people are not going to own anything when they're finished. And they're putting it out there for people to see it. They're not hiding nothing anymore. These guys are not hiding nothing. If you do your research, you'll know what's going on. That's why I get emails from people. How do you know this? How do you know this? How do you know this is going on? Blah, blah. Because I'm doing my research. I'm not watching TV. Yeah, I might watch TV every now and then for entertainment purposes, but I'm not glued to a TV. I'm reading anywhere between three to four or five hours a day, almost every day. Can you imagine all that information I can gather if I'm constantly reading like that? A lot. That's why I know what I know. I'm actually doing research. I'm not broke. I'm not in debt. I have the time to do research. But most people are broke, insolvent, in debt, don't know their head from their feet, they're confused, and they're 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 they're, they're, they're disease which make them have disease. When you're in debt and stress, you're dis ease. D-I-S-E-A-S-E. -E. You put both words together, they spell disease. Whenever you find yourself in those conditions, guys, you're gonna get disease because you're disease. This ease. You don't have time to research. A guy like me, yeah, I have time to research. That's why I'm passing on this information, folks. Get yourself ready because something is coming. <laughs> something big is coming. And they're gonna take everything away because that's been the plan all along. Everything is planned, folks, and they're getting ready. I'm just putting it out there. This video is really on how you can secure your money. I hope the information I said before helps. I just want to thank you guys for always sharing my video. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to get cursed out. I'm going to get cursed out by the lip tarts, the mentally challenged, the stupid, because they can't handle what I'm saying. They're ignorant. They don't want to hear it. Because if it happens to them, they don't know what the hell to do. That's why they're reacting the way they're reacting. I love y'all folks.